What is this? Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door's ajar. Uh oh. Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial oh. for the renovation. All right. Party. I've retrieved everything. I retrieved everything? Um, I think we already wrote into all this. I need to read that stuff. Oh, I can go outside. Um, Leave me, Dorise. I don't feel like talking. Check vulnerability. Well, that didn't help. Your door was ajar, and given the state of your room, I, I was worried. It's none of your business. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. I go in? I can. Did I? Eh, why not? The Beaucaire dinner. It hasn't been signed yet, but there's a letter with it. I was here the few pages I recommend you publish within a few months we both know the sheer lack of time to pretend that prevented you from stringing these lines together yourself the ideas of yours don't need to feel indebted your success will suffice for the good of all so Bonaparte is going to publish a book that he didn't write that crafty little rascal Sleeping. Broke into his room while he's sleeping. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Um. We got rejected from the order. Okay. 
Oh, it's him. Yeah. Huh. Go in anyone else's room? Alright, whose room am I in now? My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on Holy my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to... Um. Go to bed now. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Oh, can't go in there. Someone knocking. Who's knocking? Ah, Monsieur de Richet. Uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance, would you? Who's this guy again? I don't know if I should tell him. And... Yes. I, I just ran into him. He was heading for the dining room. Ah, honesty. Thank you. Best, I guess. I don't know. Duke Manuel Godoy. Let's bring you in. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking okay, is like nice. shooting without taking it. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Notice something? Hmm. It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. It's a of course, it's written in Spanish. And it reeks of lavender. Well, well, Mr. Godoy. You seem oh, very interested in hiding language. this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? Uh... Oh, I guess that's the next one I'm going to have to appoint into. Missing out a lot. Um, I confirm that Mr. Hay is indeed working on an agreement with Great Britain. The aim is to weaken the French economy and secretly that of the Spanish by seizing merchandise at sea. Our treasury is already suffering from the embargo on French food products, and such a treaty would mean the ruin of our colonies. No doubt that you will be able to swiftly find a diplomatic solution awaiting further instructions. Okay. Even stuff. Oh, light. Prometheus, punished for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to man.
Maria Louisa of Parma. Although not Godoy's true love, the queen is his benefactress according to some people. Inventory full. Any more of uh, the immunity crap. Overuse that. Oof. Is, but it must be bad. Oh, crap, went the wrong way. Huh, that's me. Okay, one bed. Good evening, Which one Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's no. not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Uh -oh, well, she's gonna try to get you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. There's no point trying to persuade me. Don't hold it against me. Of course not, silly. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Of course, Emily. You know you have my full trust. Louis, you're lying. That's not good. Any more of that and I might get upset. Uh-oh. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us before it's too late. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Huh? huh? Still nothing. No. Very well. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. I lied to her, and she's still she's still okay. My friends, this a dream. do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's Vision. plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't uh -oh. it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. 
What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to... Uh, bring him around. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! <laughs> <laughs>